Hello, my name is Ike, and uh, I am an IT student. I am in the networking specialist program at uh, Milwaukee Area Technical College. Um, I figured I'd just record a few videos showing some of the cool stuff that I'm that I'm doing, and um, this is my first video, so I figured I would start out by talking about taking the Network Pro exam slash certification. It's a very minor certification, so when I say certification, I know some of you are going to be like, oh, <laughs> that's no certification I've ever heard of. Yeah, it's really not. I'm not trying to say that it's that, that great or anything, but it is something to cut your teeth on, especially when you're a first semester student like moi. So, uh, this is my first video, and for some reason I took a shower before this video, which doesn't really makes sense. I would like to talk a little bit about um, what is in the Network Pro test, what like what you might need to get ready for. Uh, first of all, you have two hours to take the entire test. Well, so you'll have to do 16 individual different lab sims plus questions. It goes over um, uh, troubleshooting connectivity, like why computer A can't connect to computer B. A lot of the stuff that you did in the, in the troubleshooting chapter, there's actually a few subnetting questions in there. Nothing too hard, but you know stuff where with a slash 16 uh, a slash 24 subnet mask um, and if you don't know what that means then you should definitely go back and um, uh, brush over your subnetting stuff also you're gonna need to know the the, the function of certain um, network devices like your firewalls your switches your routers you're gonna need to know when those are appropriate to apply to the different network diagrams they're gonna ask you a lot of stuff like your score, you need to get a 1200 on the test to pass it, um, and the highest score you can get is a 1700. If you've done all of the test out lab sim, um, it's not, I mean, if you've paid attention, it, it, the, the Network Pro exam is going to be roughly all that stuff combined. They did focus a lot on wireless, so brush up on your 802.11 blah stuff. If you're not really into computers, this is probably extremely boring for you. When I was taking the exam, uh, when I was doing the practice actually, sorry, my Chrome browser, which is what I took it on, um, it was crapping out on me constantly. I'm not sure what that, what that is, but I, it made me very nervous because the Network Pro exam is a one-shot deal. Um, if you fail it, then you fail. If your internet craps out on you, then you just, I don't know, you get a zero maybe. So I was worried that that load error that I was getting was going to not be good because in my Network Plus class, that exam is kind of like the last test that we have to take. And it, it does go towards our grade. And I was very nervous about groveling towards my teacher. Please reactivate it for me. Um, but either way, it just would not be a good idea to have some kind of error or crash. So um, it took me a couple hours to kind of brush up on all that, on the material. I went ahead and took the exam. It had 16 questions. And um, th it's a combination of the lab sims and just some straight questions. So it's, you know, it's a good mix. Um, it, it took me about, if, if you really take your time and make sure that you get everything right, those 16, I would say like sections, They'll take you anywhere from like 45 minutes. You could maybe do it in 30 minutes. 45 minutes if you're to an hour if you're like taking your time and making sure that you get everything right, which apparently I did because after I finished the last question, I it shows you your score right away, and I got 100. So I was very much like, I was very stoked about that. So um, as soon as I saw that, uh, I got that load error and it, it, the whole thing crashed on me in this. I don't know if it's Chrome, I don't know if it's test out. When you get that load error, you have to completely reload test out. So I was a little nervous because I just finished and I was like, please tell me it recorded my score because I didn't just go through all that for me to get, have the whole thing uh, not count. So I reloaded it, I relogged back in to test out and the score was still there and I'm pretty happy. Um, you know, I am I am planning on getting my um, my 
Network Plus and Cross Your Fingers eventually when school when I graduate um, get my CCNA which that is you know anybody who's watching this you're welcome to come party with me if I get if I uh, get my CCNA um, that's what happened today and I figured I'd just share it with you guys and uh, talk to you next time